Good morning, my name is Stephen, and welcome to day five of the Disney Fantasy. Oh, we're already on day five? Yeah. Oh my god. Starting a little bit late today, it's about nine o'clock, and a Royal Court closes at 9.30, and we wanted to get over there to eat breakfast, so we feel a little bad. So, don't show up late, but we really wanted to make it there for breakfast, so we're kind of rushing over. But we're in Cozumel, Mexico today. We're really excited to get out there. Unfortunately, the Star Wars music is no longer playing, so. Star Wars Day at Sea is over. But some people are still wearing t-shirts, so they're celebrating, so. <laughs> Royal Corps. This restaurant is so pretty. We pre-ordered, so luckily it's gonna be super easy for them, but hopefully they were able to get us the pastries and stuff that we wanted. I know we're, we're difficult in that way, but super excited. So this morning I got some papaya with raspberries and blueberries. I have never had papaya before, so time to dive right in. <laughs> it's plated really beautifully. It's kind of soft, like um, like a ripe cantaloupe or melon, um, but it has a different flavor. It's interesting. It's not bad. I'm gonna have to take a few more bites before I get a good evaluation of it. And then we got donut and muffin. Both are dairy free and gluten free. I know the donut's gluten free. I'm pretty sure the muffins are too. For the muffin, looks like maybe a chocolate chip muffin. Or a blueberry muffin maybe. A little funky because it is gluten free. And I'm not too used to eating gluten free. Good flavor. Very good taste. And then the donut. That is actually a really good donut. I've had all different kinds of brands and stuff and I will say that one is better than a lot of them that I've had, so double thumbs up. So one of the great things about coming into Royal Court is that we get to get a little bit of an action dishes and uh, the omelet is definitely gonna be one of them. We had a omelet with dairy-free cheese, fake cheese in other words. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. I'm hit or miss with dairy-free cheese, so we'll see. That's why usually Jalen's the one taste testing things, but it'll be me today. Again, not sure if it's a great idea, but we'll see. As you can see, there's in the middle, right there, there's a little bit of cheese, and sausage, and egg, and spinach. I honestly don't know if I taste any of the cheese to be quite frank. The sausage is really good though. I've been eating sausage every morning, and it's my favorite. I am gonna enjoy this omelet 100%. All right, we're ready to head off down to Cosmo after a great breakfast. I don't know if we talked much after breakfast, but it was great. Glad we went to Royal Court. We got to see Melissa, and it was fun. Um, now, we're all dressed and ready to go to Cosmo. Oh. Goodbye, Disney Fantasy. We'll see you again real soon. Nice to be back in Mexico. It's weird being in Mexico, though, because it's Mexico, but it's on the opposite coast of uh, what I'm used to. Instead of um, the Mexican Riviera or Ensenada, it's Cosimo. A pretty weird thing to me is the constant amount of ships in port, six ships at least, that are in port in Cozumel. I'm not used to that, really. We don't have that many ships over in the Mexican Riviera, so usually you only find one and maybe two ships at most in the port. But here, in the Caribbean, we find quite a few ships. That's a good thing. That means the cruising is happening and that, yes, there are still a lot of changes, a lot of problems constantly coming up, but we're back. The cruising is back, and that's the most exciting thing about it. Now let's get to Cozumel. Yay! Here in Cozumel, when you immediately get off the ship, there is quite a few shops to get your shopping done. It's nice. It's actually a really nicely done area. We're not sure what we're looking for. We're just kind of walking around, seeing what there is to do. But like I said, lots of shopping immediately once you get off the ship, which is always good, because then we can get souvenirs for people. You'll notice something important on the way. Say, hey, Coco, yes, wait, wait. Are you taking a picture? Easy, okay? okay. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. This is your copy, please. All right, so we just actually booked a, like, a private tour. Um, so, we're just gonna go explore the island, basically. 
We're just making lots of little stops. We found this cute fountain. I really do not know the history behind fountain? it. Did what? What did you say? Fountain. Oh, fountain. I thought you said mountain. I was like, what? Yes, this is our beautiful mountain. I literally do not know what it is, but it's cool looking. So, yeah. All right, let's move on. We found water. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful here. We just got a taxi and I think it's like $50 a person. And we, he's been going around and we've been asking him to stop. He's been showing us some of the highlights of Cozumel, Mexico. And it's been pretty cool. Uh, as you can see way off in the distance, like really small, there are two more cruise ships in port. It's a really busy day here in uh, Cozumel. Lots of guests from cruise ships all over the place here visiting. A marina um, and there's this like really pretty like castle building. Yeah I think that's the I don't know what that is but it's really <laughs> cool. It's part of the marina here. Yeah so it's really pretty it has like these really pretty like thin stone details it like I don't even know how to describe it. came to the Mayan ruins. It's a uh, five or six dollars per person to get in and five dollars later. Plus they have a, a camera fee which we haven't paid yet so we're gonna figure out that in a moment. But a little it, interesting on how it's done but yeah a little different but hey we're figuring things out. So for our camera they originally said like we couldn't bring it in at all we would have to leave it with them but um, then they said that if we just took off the our tripod and our microphone we'd be fine. So I'm not really sure how that really makes a difference, but so we don't have a microphone on. So if the audio is not as good, I am so sorry. But yeah, so we're just making do with what we have. So we are here at Samaya Ruins. Um, we don't speak Spanish, so we have no clue what any of this is. Like we can't read any of the signs and stuff. So let's just ooh and ah at the pretty rocks. Ooh, ah. All right, so we just got out of the mine ruins. Unfortunately, we weren't able to record much. They did tell us that we can't take the camera in, so we exchanged, or we gave in our microphone and tripod, so that way we can go in with just the camera, so that way it doesn't look like a professional, professional video recording device. Um, whatever we can to, to follow the rules. We're not trying to obstruct anything here, but just want to give you a heads up if you're doing that, that's the rules. Yeah. But um, uh, we spent only about like 20 minutes here because we do want to get back to the port. It's currently 2.15, and it's gonna take us about 45 minutes to get back, and on- All aboard. All aboard is 4.45, so. We wanna allow enough time to. Just in case, you never know what could happen. You know, you don't wanna miss a ship, because that is the worst thing yeah, in the world. Yeah, there's, there's no going back. Yep, so we gotta get on board. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a slow time getting back, but we're gonna get back nevertheless, hopefully on time. Hopefully early, in fact. Yes. So, cool place. Glad we visited, but um, unfortunate about the recording. We have made it back to the port, all safe and sound. And on time, it's three o'clock. We still have an hour and a half before we have to get aboard. But I just wanted to mention that after the Mayan ruins, we decided to just do some shopping really quickly. And we got in the taxi and headed straight for home. We are pretty much done for the day. We, uh, they kind of wiped us out over there in some of those shops. So unfortunately we have no more money to do any more shopping. But I got a free bag. Yeah, so you <laughs> get a free bag. Um, and the tour, we ended up only paying $100 and he took us all around. He took us to the north point of the, the uh, took us to the north point of Cozumel, which is an island. And then he uh, brought us kind of back down, took us through downtown and stopped us over at the, the ruins for us to go pay separately to do that. And um, it was a good day overall. I think we had a lot of fun. It was better than just shopping in Nassau. That I will say that for sure. So I'm really glad yes. we did it. No regrets on that one. But I can see her. The Disney Fantasy is just right there within reach. And I can't wait to get back aboard. Um, one thing to mention about that is that today they didn't actually have that many activities going on. I think because we were in port or something. Not really sure why. So we didn't really miss out on much. So we're excited to get back on board. And there's going to be things starting to ramp up. Once we uh, once we get there, so not sure what we're gonna do, but we're definitely gonna be doing something. 
But now it's time to take that long walk all the way back to the port. Almost back home. So close, so close. You know, I've seen a lot of pictures and video and a lot of people on who are big fans of the larger cruise ships always say that Disney Cruise is smaller and that Oasis and Allure and all those big cruise ships tower over Disney and I, I must say that Disney Fantasy at least is a, uh, it keeps up. I mean, it's still a large mega ship. I mean, sure, it's not the largest cruise ship in the world, but it's the most magical cruise ship in the world uh, or most magical for. Anyways, let's uh, go ahead and get back aboard. It's been a long walk trying to get back, so I'm just kind of starting to ramble on. And like that, we're back on board. Do security, scanned our card up, and we are here, ready to go explore the rest of the ship and just spend time being home. Oh my gosh, it was a long four yeah, hours. Yeah, we were walking like three or four hours. Yeah. Well, we made it back 3.30. Ooh. Hour and 15, not that we were close, but to get left back in the cruise port is uh, one of my biggest fears. So I don't like ever being close. I want to get back early every single time. I never want the ship to ever wait on me. That is the one goal in life. Let's never have that happen. Plus, so. uh, plus all of the activities start coming back up closer to like three. That's I hate it. missing stuff. Not to say there wasn't none, but there was a lot less. Yes, that's true. Wasn't as much trivia. I don't like missing trivia. Yeah, trivia is our favorite thing to do aboard the Disney cruise. As you could tell, as uh, when we lost Castaway, that's all we did is we made it up with a bunch of trivia. A bunch of trivia. Yeah, we're still on that mission to get the Mickey medallion. One day, one day we will have one of those in our hands, around our necks, and we will feel special. But until then, we will just feel like normal, everyday, average people who know very little about things. All right, so we came back to Luigi's for lunch. Um, Today we got a hot dog and a hamburger. Super easy, super quick. If you don't want to waste time um, eating in cabanas or the main dining or like us, we missed both of those because we were um, on the shore. So they do still have a food option even if you miss lunch. So that's really great. As we were getting ready for pirate night, the semi-pirate night, Fireworks are actually going off outside. We don't exactly have the best view of it because it's happening directly above us and we're in the aft. And we really can't see it, so that's why it's not going to be on camera. But that's just to give you a hint that there are fireworks tonight later after dinner. So just got to get through this whole dinner part. And then we get fireworks at sea. It's going to be a that's Star like Wars the theme. the best thing ever. Star Wars day was yesterday, but we're doing Star Wars fireworks today, the day after. Not really sure how the scheduling works for that, but it's what's happening. So just much more to look forward to. So the bummer part about going on a Disney cruise that has a Star Wars themed day or any themed at all is that they will cut Pirates Night. So Pirates Night typically has a whole ordeal. They have a menu for it. They have a pirate fireworks party. show. They have a pirate party. All that will not be taking place because we have a Star Wars Day instead, which I am totally fine with, but we yeah. haven't experienced that at all because we have done one, a three night cruise and two, Star Wars Day, so um, hopefully maybe next time. Oh yes, our three night had Halloween instead, so that's why we didn't do Pirates Night one day. But it's okay, because we look super cute. Yeah, we still, people will still dress up, hopefully. Hopefully. Or else we're gonna look really dumb. Well, Mickey and Minnie are, so. Yes, the characters are out earlier dressed up. I love your pirate costume. You so pretty. So pretty. And her, um, Ooh, the look at that bag. So cute. <laughs> Daisy Donald's right behind you. for an alien with an eye patch on to join your crew? I'm sorry, he's a sword. Yeah. My sword? The sword, yeah, watch out. He got uh, played a little too rough with the sword last time. That's why he's wearing that eye patch. Oh, yeah. okay. I'll keep it away from you, okay? All right. I'll, I'll keep it away. Can I get a picture with you, though? All right. Hi, Mickey. Oh. <laughs> 
I love it. <laughs> That's some pretty good sword fighting skills you got there. Bye, Mickey. Their pirate costumes are my favorite, actually. So cute. All right, we've done all our photo spots, said hi to a lot of characters. Ooh. And now it is time to head to dinner. Yes. In Enchanted Garden. We haven't been there since the first night, and we've only been there once, but we did like it when we were there, so really excited to be back there for the second menu. This is gonna be our first second menu for each of these restaurants. We're in the latter half of the cruise, but that's okay. We still have much more to look forward to. Jalen was actually the one that made me this costume. She uh, made it herself. It actually turned out really great, though. She uh, cut both of these materials out, and then the other shirt was just something put together, but it proves that we can actually go with uh, costumes that are made ourselves and we don't have to buy everything off of Amazon, just saying. The mine which I bought off of Amazon is way better. It takes practice, I suppose. But now it's dinner time. So, uh, salmon was on the menu and I smoked salmon. Of course, that's great, fantastic, I love it. I wanted to get it. But then I was thinking, you know, Enchanted Garden, that's where we had the Tuna Towers, so I asked Melissa if it was possible to do it. Yesterday, we pre-ordered, and she brought out two for me, and I'm very excited. We already know this is amazing. This is my favorite, by far, favorite dish, so, you know, on the entire cruise, if ever, in life, possibly. But, so, I'm just gonna try the salmon. Smoked salmon is also really good. I'm happy. I'm a happy pirate. This is a great day. I don't need to steal any treasure today. I got fish. I'm good. I don't know how I could follow with that, but <laughs> I got shrimp. Shrimp is delicious on jambalaya rice. Let's start with the rice. Actually really good. I didn't think I would like it. Mm. Amazing as always. And the rice is actually really good. Alrighty. Tonight I got salmon. It looks like it's just kind of like plain, just seasoned, mashed potatoes and broccoli. I've already had it before, so I don't think you would need me to taste it again. As a reminder, it tastes really good and the mashed potatoes are amazing. But this is what I'm excited for. So they made us special. It's a chicken and mushroom pasta with like a creamy sauce. Mmm, not really good. I love creamy sauce pasta. So, really nice that they were able to make it for us. All right, I got a turkey dinner. The gravy and sweet potato mashed, they're sweet mashed potatoes. Yeah, sweet mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes made from sweet potatoes. Pretty innovative. Um, I'm gonna try a bite of that really quickly because I'm curious. Tastes like sweet potato. The real main thing is the turkey. And it has a nice little gravy too. I do love turkey, not just for Thanksgiving. They even have dark meat on the bottom. Sorry, I just completely ruined the plate, but they have dark meat. So it's the light meat and the dark meat. Turkey, good. Gravy, amazing. That's honestly what makes it. Turkey is Turkey with gravy is the best. All right, we got fudge cake and ice cream, and it looks amazing. I love dessert. It's literally my favorite part of the entire day. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Double thumbs up. Amazing cake. It's moist. It's flavorful, it's rich, it's warm, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, we are in spot for fireworks. I am so excited. I have a slight fear that my, wow. Sorry, that is so pretty. The camera wouldn't show it, but just the way that the light from the moon is reflecting onto the water. Sorry, that is gorgeous. Um, I'm afraid that my hat's gonna blow off into the water. Which would be the very nice. Alrighty, we are here on deck 12 for fireworks on port side, but we think that it's gonna be on starboard side. I know it's on starboard side. I know it's on starboard side. So hopefully we have a good view of it. Um, I think we will. Steven doesn't think so. We'll just have to wait and see. 
I'm so excited. I love fireworks. And um, on the Wonder, the fireworks were amazing. So I know these ones will be too. Those are just beginning their journey into a galaxy far, far away. We are down from the deck party. It was fun. I do wish they did a few more of those. Granted, I don't need it to be like Carnival where they do it every single night, but one or two more throughout the duration of the cruise would have been nice. Um, and if we could have had the had Mickey and friends out there for one of the dance parties as well. They did do one more that we missed actually, so I can't say that for sure. But, well, I kind of can. Anyways, we're going to karaoke. Not that any of us are gonna sing because you know, it costs money to see us sing, but uh, we want to we see the uh, entertainment around. This is your birthday space. It's your birthday space. It's going to play, don't worry. We're here. Some point. We need the words for this. We've made it back to the room for another finale of a night. Yeah. I am definitely exhausted. We had such a long day in Cosmo, and then we had some fun activities with fireworks and that dance party. A lot of fun. Didn't record much of a lot today, but <laughs> that's okay. I hope, uh, hope it was enough. Make sure to check out tomorrow's video. We're going to be in Costa Maya, Mexico, which is a different port for us. I've never been there before. And it's another day aboard the Disney Fantasy, so be yeah. sure to check out that video. As always, though, this isn't a goodbye, but just a see you real soon. <laughs>